Hey, what's good everyone? It's your boy Matt Diazzo coming at you with a new album review. Thanks for coming on by. Today I am checking out Drug Church with their newest album, Peru. Ooh. Drug Church is a really hard band to describe because they do all types of things like punk, hardcore, alternative, grungy-like music, and they mix it all together. So I guess the best way I can say is that they are a rock band. Uh, they are based out of Albany, New York, and have been around for about, since about 2011. This is a band that I've heard about many, many times beforehand, but for some reason, I just always either skip them or it just, well, I was always like, I, I think I put them off for way too long, but then one of my good friends put me onto them and was like, yo, with the song Demolition Man, it's like, you need to make a reaction video to that, which I did. Very good song and everything. So it kept me like to, it kept me, it kept them fresh in my mind. So I knew to review them when their album dropped. And so I was really excited when this album finally came out. I was like, yes, I can review Drug Church and fully understand this band. And I'm kind of glad I did because not that bad with this particular album i think drug church has leaned more into the 90s alternative grunge uh vibes so if you're really into that scene from back in the day you might really enjoy this album you're gonna get a lot of nostalgia for it in a weird way what i think about this album and this band is that they are one of the hardest softest bands in the realm of hardcore and alternative music with their style of really groovy uh, riffs and very catchy and infectious vocals. They, the vocalist here is doing a really good job of uh, capturing your attention. The guitars on this album have a very uh, gritty and grimy feel to them throughout this whole album. And they also have some good groovy vibes to them. Uh, I would say particularly on the songs Mad Care and Demolition Man, the lead single to this album, uh, they have a very catchy feel to them while also having that weight to them and just dirtiness to it that really go matches well with the style they're playing here also on the songs the bitters and peer review they kind of add some distorted guitars and some interesting effects to their guitars to make them sound uh more noticeable you could say and i want to play a clip of the bitters for you so you can get a sense of that uh interesting uh style of guitars they have here Those riffs sound really good. I think the added effects on the guitars really add a level of aggression to the songs to make them really stick out and just have a really fun and heavy feel to them. The bass on this album has a very deep and powerful feel to it throughout the whole album. You really get a sense of its uh, like weight and overall grooviness, uh, particularly on songs Hey Listen and Myopic. Uh, they just have a really, really, they did a really good job of tuning the bass, I think. And I think on uh, Hey Listen, you get a really good vibe on it. No more Nice and subtle, but so good. I think the true heaviness and weight to all the music on this album comes from the drumming because he has a really, really big, slow and bold style of playing that just sounds so noticeable, particularly on the songs Chow and uh, Demolition Man. And if you mix those with the raspy vocals from the main vocalist, it gives the song such a huge, like, I keep saying massive uh, weight to it, but it does. It has a really, really good weight to them. And it sounds like there's some uh, good effort was put into making these songs. So I want to play a clip of Demolition Man so you get a sense of those thick and big drums. Great, great transition with those uh, drums to those uh, trippy riffs. I think they do a really good job of playing with the main vocalist's vocals because, like I said, he has that really raspy and noticeable voice. But on certain tracks, they kind of add some uh, effects to it to give it a little bit of like a underwatery effect or they double layer it 
to give it some cool like heaviness but overall the vocals they stand out really good with his uh, uh husky and raspy voice and i do like that he tries to switch things up a little bit like on slide to me chow and the bitters in terms of like how his vocal delivery is uh He's not trying to do the same style on all the songs, so that's really refreshing and nice to listen to. The style of music they're playing here never really dips in quality. They're able to create either really good to amazing songs. Nothing on here is really bad, I think. So overall, it's a really, really consistent album with great production, uh, some catchy hooks, some interesting um, instrumentation from the guitars, drums, and bass, uh, and overall a well-made album. So I would say this uh, album for Drug Church, Crude, is a good and solid 8.5 out of 10. Links down below. Check them out. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this uh, album. Uh, give me some other suggestions. Uh, like always, I'm Matt from Diazable, and I will see you in the pit. Can't take it, good